<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Just Rodeoing. What are we talking about today, Dale? Well, I'm gonna tell you. How to tie a bull rope knot. How to tie a rope knot. How to tie a knot. How to tie a bowling knot. I've talked to three world champions today, so I'm the greatest of all time. And when I need to ask a question for clarification, and it is rare, I uh, go to three or four world champions that I like to text. The only thing I don't know about bull riding is what to call this rope knot. I've called it a rope knot, I've called it a knot. Those three world champions gave me three different answers. Um, I think it's a bowling, but we're gonna call it a rope knot today. A bull rope knot. This is how to tie it. Now, when you're hanging your bull rope on the fence, it's not going to be a, a double half hitch, but close. You're going to come around the top just like that, kind of like how you'd put a picking string on the back of a trailer, just to hold that puppy firm. Now, right up, I want to use all my wear strip whenever I'm storing this sucker on the fence. That way, my wear strip ends right there, and then that's where my tail begins, okay? And this is what you're going to heat up, which we're going to show you in a later video of just rodeoing. Now, I'm a left-handed bull rider because I use my right hand to chunk the deuce at the ladies. So that's actually irrelevant how you're going to tie this uh, bull rope knot. But here we go. Now, this is the body of my rope right here. I like to untie my uh, bull rope knot um, after each bull ride just so it keeps the body of my rope nice and clean. It doesn't kink it up. Now, once you learn how to tie it, you can leave it in your rope, uh, but what I would like to see is you at least loosen it off. Mr. Nick here, he's, he's a, an intern here at Rodeo Time, and he's borrowing a rope of mine. He likes to leave it super tight, super tight. We're just like this all the freaking time. I've got to tell him to loosen it off every now and then. Now, what you want to do, why don't you slip on this side of me, Donnie? These Usually these bull ropes, this one I got from Barstow. When life hands you lemons, put a Barstow bull rope on them. My voice cracked a little, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Bull rope on them. Okay, these keepers, usually they'll come with three on the body. They're, they're fine, they just keep it intact. You don't have to have them. Some guys use tape, whatever. Now, tying the bull rope knot, we're gonna get right to it. I like to hold that thing in my left hand, just like that, all right. And uh, grab down here with my right hand, Bring it over the top on the right. Watch him as he brings that bull rope body around. Once over the top. <laughs> I was just warming up. My fault. I think you, I think you got old Nick tickled there, huh? Nick, are you okay? <laughs> I was just. You okay? You didn't, that was funny. You didn't see that coming. I think he's crying a little bit. <laughs> Anyway, got the body over the rope. Go ahead. Your man, D-A-L-E-B-R-I-S-B-Y, come around over the top. Now come through. Come through. So, Help him. Help him. I know some of you guys, you may not have a full-time rodeo announcer following you. You don't go 90 as often as I do. I like to have an announcer around. And the crowd is about to go wild. That, that's good. That's sure? Good. You I, good? If anything, I think you're... you're <laughs> pushing Nick over the edge there he's the leg slap about to blow a gasket okay so as if you're gonna just tie this bull rope in a knot but these steps are important go over the top right here and now bring it through just like you're gonna tie it in a knot okay now you've got this loop down here look it's just gonna be in a simple knot but I'm still holding the rope now go through the body of your rope with your hand just like this Grab the top. Are you watching me, Donnie? Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Now, I'm gonna switch these two. And I wanna turn it all the way over. Like when you switch them, pull it, pull it all the way through, as far as it'll go. Turn it, turn this rope into a straight line. 
You see that? Okay. An assertive now, transition. Right I'm there, almost there. An assertive transition. That's a that's good wording for it. Now I'm going to suck it down. And now you've got your bull rope knot. Okay. There's many. There's a lot of ways to tie this. I'm not going to lie to you. Randy ties it a completely different way, and it's just as effective. This is just how I tie it. Um, I learned this at a Sankey rodeo school. Lyle Sankey puts on rodeo schools um, all over the country, and he tie, he showed me how to tie this. If you if you are wanting to learn how to ride bulls, that's a good place to start. SankeyRodeo.com. They'll provide all the equipment. There's a lot of good schools out there. That's just that's the one I've been to. Lyle's a good friend of mine, um, but that's where he tied me. I'm gonna tie it one more time. Get in here uh, yes. real close. Let's get a new angle. So over the top, bring the body through as if you're just gonna tighten a knot. I'm gonna run my hand through that loop of the body at the bottom, grab the top, switch hands. If you don't pull it all the way through like that, it'll turn into a slip knot. So if you just, if you just, if you just push it over your hand like this, and then you turn it and you don't pull it all the way through, it'll turn into a slip knot and it'll suck down on your rope, watch. See how it comes way down? So that's how to do it incorrectly. Let me finish. So, from the beginning, how to do it correctly. I've got, a, I've got the body of my rope laid out flat in my left hand. I, I grab it down low with my right hand. Over the top, bring it through. My hand goes through the very bottom of the body, through that loop, and then I grab the top of the knot, bottom of the rope, switch them. See how hard I pull them all the way through? Now I, I've just got a hold right there, and I can suck it down. Now the bigger the bull, the smaller you want your loop. Uh, 5'11 is large right now, so what I would do is make that rope you make your loop smaller, it makes your bull rope longer for a bigger bull. Now, you're gonna get on Carl Wayne or something, then you are gonna suck it way up like that. It makes this loop bigger and uh, makes your rope shorter. Then you add bells. What do the bells do, Dale? They sound awesome, that's what. No, they're gonna help pull your rope off the bull at the end of the bull ride. Okay, so let's say you are gonna get on Carl Wayne. Um, he's a he's an eight weight at most, so he's gonna be like a, a big rope and steer. Or let's say you got a normal size rope and you're getting on a rope and steer and you can't get the body of this rope small enough with a normal knot. So this is gonna be, we'll call it your steer riding knot. Nick, this is what you're gonna to wanna to tie, okay? I'll take note. Take notes. Now, you're gonna come over the top just like you do on a normal bull rope knot just like that that's normal right where we would normally go through except go around a second time okay and come through so you're you've gone around two times now you want to do the same thing you want to do the same thing run your hand through but grab both both ropes and switch them just like you did now you've got yourself a double knot now the trick is whenever you go to whenever you go to catch your, your rope catch your tail you want to run it through both of those so it'll pull evenly okay don't just run it through one of them because then it's going to pull down it's going it's going to pull down awkward um, that's probably a no-brainer but i just needed to go on record saying it so this is if you're maybe a steer rider or you're getting on an extremely small bull and you need your, the body of your rope to get really short. So like if Donnie were a bull. Donnie is so short, y'all. See that? Now, again, when, you're, when you got done going 90 like old DB, chunking the deuce, keeping it 90, and you're done, what I'd like to see you do is untie that knot. Either untie it completely or just loosen it off. That way the body of your rope stays intact 
It's also a good way after your rodeo you get to check your equipment because if you just throw it in your bag, then it might be it might be ripped somewhere. You may have spurred it. Um, at the very least, though, what most guys do if they don't want to untie it is loosen it off. That way, there's not any pressure anywhere. Just at least loosen it off. I'm Dale Brisby teaching you how to keep it 90 on just rodeoing. We're on to the next one, old son.